All right, so if you've got a uh, gas grill and your igniter's not working to fire up your fire, as we say, you can purchase these. It's called an igniter replacement kit in your home improvement store. It's pretty simple. This is what you're going to see. Um, you are going to have the mounting plate, the wires, and then this is the actual igniter right there. Um, it's very easy to install, um, but it is one of those things that if you've never done it before, it might be a little bit intimidating. You will find these instructions. I forgot about this. Here's the actual brand new button. A lot of times this whole plastic piece will break, and there's really no way to just order this. You have to buy this whole kit. Um, but this actually, see the threads right here? This actually screws in, sticks out of the grill, and then that is where the wires go in at that little point right there. Um, if, if, if you have one that's not working, it's already on the on the grill, I recommend you take a picture of it and or a video of the way that these wires route. And what you'll see is this right here. So this is the outside of the grill. This screws into the, into the actual grill mount uh, plate in the front. The wires head down into the back here. And then it, what it does is these wires come up into where the actual flame of the gas comes out or starts. You can see another good picture here, right there. And then that way, you just press the button and you're good to go. And here's your mounting plate, which is this piece to secure it uh, so it doesn't move. So, like I said, take a video, take a picture, but basically what you're trying to do here is go in the same spot with your threads, wire your your uh, wire right into where it ignites. It's that simple, and they're about eight bucks.